Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Today, we're diving into recent Iraqi dinar updates and some big news on Iraq's economic developments. Intel from Guru Militia Man highlights an exciting development, Iraq's Grand Four Port. This massive project, now operational, is set to be the largest port in the Middle East with plans for 90 berths. This port can handle the largest, heaviest ships, providing Iraq with a strategic trade hub. While it's been a long time in the making, its completion is a significant milestone for Iraq's infrastructure and economy. Intel from Bruce mentions that Sunday, the first banking day in Iraq and much of the Middle East, is anticipated to bring a new rate for the Iraqi dinar. It's also reported that Middle Eastern countries have already been trading using the dinar over the past week and a half. This could signal movement towards the revaluation, RV, or restatement of the currency's value. Prime Minister Al Sudani has issued six directives aimed at increasing financial inclusion across Iraq. These directives focus on opening more bank branches, adopting modern technologies, and improving banking services, all part of Iraq's white paper reforms. One key goal is to increase the purchasing power of the dinar, which would benefit all Iraqis and contribute to the currency's anticipated revaluation. Intel from Frank26 brings an interesting report of a recent phone call between Prime Minister Al Sudani and former President Trump. They discussed ending conflict in Iraq, with Trump expressing his intention to help. This meeting is expected to happen soon, potentially before the next U.S. presidency term. This support from an international figure like Trump may boost Iraq's economic and monetary reform efforts. This past week, the Central Bank of Iraq's sales of U.S. dollars in its currency auctions reached over $1 billion down slightly from the previous week. Foreign remittance sales made up the majority, increasing by 96% compared to cash sales. This shows a growing focus on electronic transactions and a reduced reliance on cash, which aligns with Iraq's ongoing modernization of its banking sector. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy today's updates, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below a I'd love to hear what you think about Iraq's progress and the future of the Iraqi dinar.